we're on record explaining the Democrats are getting talking points from the United Nations, Big Pharma, it's at the heart of the New World Order, and the chi -coms, and that Twitter and Facebook let the chi -coms operate however they want, as vicious as they want, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Google, on YouTube, against the American people, and then block out any news or information that's truthful or accurate about how you can prepare yourself, how you can protect yourself, how you can boost your immune system, um, about the origin of the virus, about the cover-up, about the World Health Organization being on the payroll of the chi -coms, and how they had a director of the World Health Organization that worked for Xi Jinping, and the huge scandals that have gone on there, and all of it. It is Thursday, April 16th. The year is 2020. We are exactly 200 days out from the election, and the federal courts are ruling mail-in ballots. No driver's license proof needed. The secret plan to steal those battleground states like Pennsylvania, Michigan, Ohio, and Iowa, as well as New Hampshire, are now in play. There are so many reasons they launched this bioattack, great panic, great scare of 2020. And it is a real bioweapon. It is a real novel manufactured virus so that the multinationals can own it and finally have a vaccine for the common cold. I'm going to cover that later. You see, you can't have one for the common cold. Everyone knows. I talked to them on the street. I go, why isn't there a vaccine for the common cold? Talked to three people this morning at stores, two women and a man, and they both went, the checkout clerks, they both go, all three go, well, because there's so many thousands of mutations of it. And three separate times they knew, I really felt good. Well, then how do they have one for this? And see, I'm always next year's news today. We've got huge news breaking right now, but I want to tell you what's coming next. When they come out with their forced inoculation and their antibody tests and all this, it is a giant certified fraud. And I have scientific studies I printed up here in front of me already saying that. The French government's going, well, wait a minute. Why are we going to have an antibody passport when they don't test right? It also says you have COVID-19 if you test for the cold. That's why this thing's so perfect, folks. Anybody dying that had cancer or a heart attack or diabetes or was already in a coma, that's most people dying. They are being counted as dying from COVID-19 if they have any type of cold virus in them. And people year-round have cold viruses in their body at any one time. That's why this is all so scripted, prepared from the start. Just like HIV was a group of viruses they were using and different bio attacks they were doing, then they would just claim if you had the HIV virus, that's what did it. But it was really a whole constellation of other things. And I knew this when I was a little kid. because my dad was in the medical community and he knew some people that worked for the government and he, they told him point blank that that's what it was. But the point here, oh, and who was running that? Fauci, same, same guy. By the way, those people that told my dad that were high level CIA. And I was a little kid hearing this because my dad did dental work on some of those people. And I'll just leave it at that. But I grew up knowing all this stuff. And that's what's so frustrating, sitting here, hearing all this today and, and, and seeing so much of the public buy into this when the whole thing is a giant hoax, ladies and gentlemen. The virus is real, but the rollout, the deployment, the hysteria, the vaccine, the implantable microchip ink to make that's in the vaccine. I mean, this is a nightmare. This is beyond anything you'd see in a science fiction dystopia movie 30 years ago. It's happening. The tyranny's totally real. But the rollout in all of it is a hysteria and a hoax. And notice right as Trump and others begin to try to reopen the economy, the Democrats all announce, sorry, now you've all got to wear masks to leave your house. 
And then as Trump tries to reopen, they're going to go, no, actually, you're not allowed to go to the grocery store for a week or two. Get your food now, like Michigan's now doing, like California's set to do as soon as Trump tries to reopen. And we have that from the state police in California. That's called holding the country hostage. So we didn't just tell you that the Wuhan situation was where the virus came from out of a bioweapons lab, now AP reporting it all, confirming word for word what we said and our experts said. We told you they would then hold the East and West Coast hostage and say we're never reopening. And we follow what the UN says, the World Health Organization's our boss, and so Trump had to chop the head off of that because that's hijacking our country. Who made them the leaders of the nation? There are real people dying from this virus. It's like there are real folks that die from the cold every year, and it is souped up. But if you look at the graphs compared to other viruses, it's very weak. It's just communicable, so everybody ends up getting it, so we're all suspect, we're all bad, we're all involved in the hysteria, and accept the new way of life, which is the technocracy. Let me do this. Let me tell you what's coming next. In a possible future, that is so nightmaric, it's almost impossible to illustrate verbally. First is the future we could have if we simply wake up to the fact that there are very evil forces mixed in to government, private corporations, and private life that hide behind that and that need to be identified. Now, I'll do that next segment. I want to just mention some of the news here now. And I just want to be clear. We could not be at a more dangerous crossroads. The absolute future of humanity hangs in the balance right now. This isn't just the build up to the new world order and if we don't get mobilized, it's gonna take over. It's launching its big assault now. And this emergency they're setting up will never end and will only get deeper and darker. You will instantly be poor. You will instantly have less medical care. You will instantly be a prisoner and not have mobility. You will instantly have them medically come force hundreds of vaccines into your body and you will slowly die. You see, when they start giving people vaccines and folks start getting sick and dying from it, they know they can't cover it up. Just like the UN World Health Organization said last December, five months ago. Remember what they said. We played the clips here probably 20 times. The head of the World Health Organization over virology, the actual head medical doctor, not the Marxist communist Chicom operative from Ethiopia. She said, we have a front line that's wobbly. They know it's hurting people. There's a cover up. Well, see, the answer is just come out and say, you're all dead if you don't take this. And yeah, a lot of you are going to die. And by the way, it's going to reduce your fertility. So that's why Gates came out this weekend and said, yeah, 700,000 people have bad side effects. What? It's not one out of 10,000 have bad effects. You divide that into seven and a half billion, yeah, you get 700,000. It's tens of millions. So I know I cover this stuff and it sounds fantastical, but you know who listens to it and knows it's true? It's the Pentagon, because the Pentagon has been tasked in compartmentalization in the last 100 years under this eugenics cult. It took over about 100 years ago in the U.S. It's only in power for about 20 years fully. Got discredited after Hitler, so they had to go underground. The Pentagon's had to carry a lot of this out, compartmentalized, so the Pentagon knows about it, but I can tell you doesn't like it. And so Trump and the patriots in our government have been waiting for an awakening to have a chance to turn this around and fix it. But they need us to have courage and they need us to not freak out when Trump comes out and says, OK, traitors in our government transferred the weapons to China. They hit us with them. They did this to take us down. But we're arresting all these people and they're going to get tried. But it, and, and it's OK. We're open for business again. We're not going to go to war with China, but we're going to shut off economic operations with them. And if they want to launch another bio attack, we're going to have to have a war with them. Because we're already there. China's already moving in to invade Taiwan right now. They've announced it. They're already launched this bio attack with the deep state. They, we, look at the timing, the background. I told you it came out of the lab. I told you they would shut the economy down and the West and East Coast would hold us hostage. 
I know the enemy, folks. I know their operations. I live this, okay? And they're pissed because Trump is quietly arresting the Chinese communist agents and their collaborators by the hundreds. I'm not an authoritarian. This is an authoritarian attack by a foreign government. And an emergency like this, they're trying to have an emergency that takes all of our rights permanently. We need to have quick, decisive action to cut off the foreign enemy influences and simply decapitate them instead of playing games with this. I, I'm not the one up here telling patriots to go kill people. I'm not going to go kill anybody. I'm saying to Trump and the Pentagon, I, listen, that's the best, quickest move. You can't play patty cake with these people, and you know that. China's going to move into Taiwan before the end of the year, probably sooner. And they've got sleeper cells all over the damn country. We're totally overrun. All you can do is decapitate the leadership of the People's Liberation Army and their Communist Party and their operatives. That's all you can do. Yeah, it's good to try to fire the head of the World Health Organization. It's good. That's a good start. Identify the enemy. But Chinese communists kill our operatives in China. And their argument is it's our country don't be here. So all I'm saying is that we don't have a lot of time to play games. Let me just stop there. I'm just being a realist here, ladies and gentlemen. That's where we are. We're under a globalist attack and an axis of evil with chi -coms. And you, you, you take their leadership out, and all the media and all the cowards and all their collaborators are going to run for the hills like cockroaches at 3 a.m. when you turn the light on. They are going to haul ass, and then the emergency's turned off, Bill of Rights is back, country turns on, we'll export American freedom everywhere. It's great. But they're using the fact that they don't believe that we'll make that move or that the media doesn't believe we'll make that move. Make that move. It's one of the only, it's the best move we've got. And if Trump thinks he can balance this and finagle it and do all this, more power to him. But I, I don't see that. I see every time we defeat their operations, they just launch a bigger attack exponentially. Every attack gets logarithmically larger. And so the next attack... A, a, a bioweapon 10 times worse? A, a nuke in D.C. during the State of the Union? I mean, there should Congress shouldn't be in session in the buildings. The president should never be in D.C. now. He should be moving around the country. I mean, we're in a total war, people. And that said, I told you the virus will create the depression and the lockdown of the civilization, ladies and gentlemen. So you better be concerned about that. You better be ready with guns and ammo if the president doesn't make the right moves and we go into a civil war that the globalists want. You've got to be ready with the patriot governors and others. If the globalists get the federal government, then we'll have another original type civil war. This isn't even a civil war. This is just idiots that don't know that there's a war going on who join with Chinese globalist propaganda against their own interests in their own country. I don't know what you call this. It's a bunch of collaborator morons trying to sabotage their own country for a horrible authoritarian state that's killed 100 million people. They think you're weak. They think you're stupid. They're making a move on you right now. And, and, and again, I'll say this. We have storable food back in stock again, and they're down to four to six weeks to ship new orders. If you don't have storable foods, you're insane. And most of the companies are sold out or they're selling you crap. We have the biggest, best company. They had to pause sales for a while to get caught up, get the orders out. They're actually ahead of schedule, uh, getting almost all their orders out. Some, they're just on time. But now they told me, well, it's really about four weeks on new orders now, but don't say that. We're just saying six so people don't get pissed. Well, okay, six weeks, folks. Get your orders in, InfoWarsStore.com, and you're getting it at about one-fifth the cost of the same stuff at the grocery store, and it's getting delivered to you. And it's not for the virus, folks. It's for economic collapse, total insanity, and getting ready. I've actually finally gone out to the farm and, you know, put a trailer on it and a well and got myself together. And I procrastinated forever. Things were so bad. I've got to be ready to, they turn the lights out, get with everybody, go out to the countryside and try to, try to, you know, hope somehow we take the government back. But we may lose the whole damn thing, folks. And we may have to go to the hills ourselves. We either make them go to the hills or we go to the hills. It's down to that. America is fighting for its damn life right now. Oh. All right, you're listening to the Alex Jones Show. Only way this dog hunts is when you spread the word about the local radio and TV stations you're watching and listening to when you tell people about Video and Infowars.com forward slash show. When you do that, it changes the world. So here, here's what's happening. Communist China, working with the deep state, was losing its trade war. 
Trump was getting control of the federal government and actually starting to arrest communist Chinese agents like the head of the biology department at Harvard. They shut down the Confucius societies in over 200 major universities, including the University of Texas. The communist Chinese were in such incredible control even two years ago that if you were a military veteran, even with master's degrees, they would run your background and the database at UT and they would not hire you to even fix the sprinklers. That's how controlled we are. The globalists use China to move our industry, our jobs, then to launder money, and then to project that power back to buy up Hollywood to get full control to buy up our debt. Trump and America was waking up. We were reversing all of that. And so they launched the bio attack. Now, remember, we told you it came out of the Wuhan bioweapons lab. We told you that Fauci and the NIH in 2012 through 2015 transferred the weapons to them. A chimera cold virus, highly transmittable with nanotech gain of function, viral miniaturization technology. It then had chimera insertion points on it so that it could be mutated rapidly by the chai -coms and mixed in with the bats who were then ground up and fed to piglets and the piglets that died, meaning they got sick and had the viral bloom, would then be fed to other piglets and then to fed to dogs to create a zoological transfer. It's very hard to get species to species with the new virus, but that's how they were able to do it. And last week I told you it's about to come out that China launched this. That's why they said, okay, here's documents that China leaked to the Daily Mail. You can see that. MI6 was that it leaked to them. It's the Daily Mail. To then come out and say, oh, the U.S. transferred it to them. It's the U.S.'s fault. That was China saying, we're going to come out and admit that Fauci and the NIH and Obama and Hillary did this with us. And Trump's like, great, continue that. And that's what I advised the president and the White House to do is good, fry them and let it just all start coming out. And that's now what's happened. The only course is the truth here. The only course is leveling with the public. You got to do it incrementally, but Trump is rapidly leveling with people. And it's, it's, it's a good thing. Trump's for real, folks. But I wouldn't be surprised if they don't put a bullet at him any day now. I mean, this country is in dire straits. You better be on your knees any chance you can praying to Jesus. I mean, and praying for Trump and praying for the country and the world to wake up and praying for InfoWars, by the way. I mean, the globalists have got a gun to my head if, if I don't turn against America and turn against Trump and everything. And I told them, pull the trigger. And, you know, the point is, is that there's not just evil in this universe. And I, I guess I've passed a lot of tests, but passing that latest one, um, let's just say really got the White House's attention. Because so, almost everybody else rolls over, folks. And that isn't me up here saying, oh, look, I'm tough. I didn't roll over. The country is in a war, people. You don't sell out to occupiers that are bringing tyranny. It'd be one thing if the occupiers had better science and were better than us and we were bad. Like the Russians at first were like, we hate communists. Hey, Nazis, save us. So they found out the Nazis were even worse. They're like, let's kill these Nazis. You know, it'd be one thing if we were getting conquered by something better. I'd be like, yeah, let me join your military. No, no, no. We're not. Get, we're getting conquered by pure evil. So it's not courage to not back down. It's self-preservation. That's why I look at uh, people against Trump and against America and for communist China and the Washington Post and Bezos praising Xi Jinping and saying, please destroy Trump, close quote. And I just go, America made you $160 billion. And it did all this, and then you, you, you just side with it, side with evil against America. I'm digressing. The point is that I can, here's what's important.
They're now admitting that the weapon came out of Wuhan. And now they're trying to spin it after all the denials and after all the deplatforming and zero hedge being kicked off Twitter for posting Indian and German and other major institutes looked at the virus. They went, is it fake? <laughs> It'd be like a pig with a duck's head growing off the back and with a ostrich head off the side and a and you know lion's claws or something. I mean, obviously it's 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 a chimera, folks. That's you know from Greek mythology, an, an animal of three different creatures. This thing's five different creatures. Was four. Now they, of course, as I predicted, they they're it just keeps mutating and opening up and doing new things because it's a very sophisticated weapon. And we can speculate about what it's going to do in phase two and phase three and you know all the rest of it. But let's just say this. You better be getting your immunity ready. But the main target is the economy and the free world. And so, yes, we have been totally vindicated hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times with what we cover and what we do here because we're dialed into how the real world actually operates. I mean, all you got to do is type in with a prefix, Infowars.com into a search engine. Infowars.com will search the site. And then you just put, COVID-19 is a bioweapon from the Wuhan lab. And you'll get dozens of videos and articles from two months ago. And nine weeks ago. And 10 weeks ago. We're on record. I know you all heard it at nauseum. I'm just explaining that so that folks understand that we're not just up here making this up and that we know what we're talking about. So let me then tell you the rest of the story and what is going to be coming and unfolding after that if we don't make some of the right moves into the future and really recognize what we're facing. Because we're on record explaining that the Democrats are getting talking points from the United Nations Big Pharma, it's at the heart of the New World Order, and the chai -coms, and that Twitter and Facebook let the chai -coms operate however they want, as vicious as they want, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Google, on YouTube, against the American people, and then block out any news or information that's truthful or accurate about how you can prepare yourself, how you can protect yourself, how you can boost your immune system, um, about the origin of the virus about the cover-up, about the World Health Organization being on the payroll of the chi -coms and how they had a director of the World Health Organization that worked for Xi Jinping and the huge scandals that have gone on there and all of it. That's the big issue. And that's where this is going. And if we don't do that, and if we don't explain that the Democrats are holding the nation hostage, with the globalists under their directives, we don't have a hope. We're up against hardcore authoritarians with major countries backing them with a media bought and paid for, trained to hate the very country they live in, trained to hate their own 401k, trained to hate their own children, trained to literally just not even operate in reality, but to say and do whatever they're told. They are meat puppets. So how do we break the globalist blockade? How do we stop them? How do we wake people up? How do we get folks out of their trance? Well, evidence shows it's already starting to happen. But quite frankly, we need to spend our time exposing the fact that this is a bioweapon.